Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to talk about the MSE wall or mechanically stabilized earth wall in Plaxis 2D. So if you're new here, please uh, keep watching this video, see if you like it or not, or not. And if you do, hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you won't miss out uh, every new video. Okay, so now let's start. So this is the, um, the wall that we're going to create. We have the concrete panel and between the, the concrete panel we will create a bearing pad between uh, each panel so now let's start in uh, Plaxis 2D so this is the boundary of the soil and now I'm going to create a ball hole so this is the first material it will be um, backfield soil Okay, for the next one is foundation soil. I'm going to use the um, jointed rock material model. Okay, for the next one, I'm going to create the material for uh, the concrete panel and the bearing pad and also the foundation block. So the first one is concrete panel. Okay, next one is um, Earring pad. The next one is found foundation block. Okay, now for the reinforcement of the MSE wall, I'm going to use the geo grid. So um, I need to uh, create a material for the reinforcement. Okay, now uh, we done create uh, creating the materials. So I'm going to set this as a foundation soil okay now I need to create the backfield soil uh, polygon so I'm going to click on here and type in the coordinate of the soil Next, I'm going to set this as backfield soil and copy it. Okay, so this is our backfield soil. Now I'm going to create um, the plate. So this is the concrete panel. We have two concrete panel 
for this wall so the first one is from here to here and the next one I'm going to create a, a bearing pad so I'm going to type in the coordinate here So the thickness of this peering, the bearing uh, pad is only uh, 20 millimeter. Now I uh, need to create another plate. So this is the um, concrete panel and this is the bearing pad. Now I'm going to create uh the foundation block and set this as foundation block okay next we uh, need to create the geo grid so you can set the material and now I will copy this Next, we need to uh, create the interface. So this is the positive interface and next is the negative interface. And for the concrete, we need to create the uh, interface also. So this is the positive interface. Okay, and this is wrong, so I need to delete this and change this to negative. Okay, now we need to add the uh, the load. So I'm going to create the line load here. So this will be a uh, two type of the load. So the the load near near the wall here should be uh, less than the load uh, far from the wall because uh, this is the compaction load uh, when we uh, uh, place the backfill soil. So we need to compact the soil. So I will set this to minus 10 and this is minus 20. Okay, next I'm going to copy the, the compaction load. Okay, so now everything is, uh, is model, so you can proceed to mesh. Okay, I want to show you the result of the mesh. Okay, now next um, go to the stage construction. So the first piece, uh, we need to activate the plate. So this is the plate number one. Okay, I'm going to hide the line load first. And 
plan number four from the foundation block and we need us uh, we need to uh, activate the negative interface also next uh, we need to activate the soy and also the interface okay next we create uh, we create another pace and for this pace we going to activate the line load here this is the compact the compaction load so uh, we will need this load every soil layer okay next pace we need to activate the geo grid and interface but uh, we don't need to activate the negative interface yet so i'm going to deactivate here and next we can uh, proceed to another layer of the soil so i'm going to activate the soil here and we need to deactivate the load and now you you need to activate the uh, positive interface of the uh, the concrete panel here and you need to also uh, you need to activate the negative interface of uh, the geo grid also for the next step uh, you can activate the load for the second soil layer and then we uh, activate another soil layer and deactivate the load here and we activate the interface So this is the uh, the pace for the wall. We need to create step by step like this until the soil layer reach the uh, top of the wall, and then you can uh, uh, run the analysis and show the result. So I'm going to uh, skip the part here. So. Uh, I will show you the result next. Okay, guys, um, this is the end of the analysis. So, this is the last uh, uh, the compaction load applied to the top uh, layer, and this is the uh, last uh, pace and the uh, uh, final load apply to the soil so I'm going to show the result here so this is the um, deform mesh of the wall you can also uh, show the lateral replacement And you can check step by step for each pace here. So this is uh, how you can uh, do the MSE wall. Uh, analysis in the Plaxis 2D so I hope you get the idea so this is the end of this video 
thank you guys uh, so much for watching i'll see you guys next week